We don't grow everything that we eat, but the things that we can grow, we will grow. When COVID first hit, my husband looked at me and said, let's put beans in the ground, they'll grow fast. They're high in protein. It was a learning curve for how much we could handle, how much like capacity for growing that we had and what we still needed to give ourselves seasons of learning to. And those are the lessons that I think will um, stand for a long time with my kids about food sovereignty is that it takes time and it takes diligence. And the way we currently live our lives, it doesn't allow for that. Um, but I think hopefully this is a shift in time, in history, that people will start to grow food again and start to put it on their own plates and share it with their neighbors. It's possible to regenerate and revive some of our traditional foods. It takes a lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of partnership, but it can be done. But they're so good for you, mind, body, and spirit, that uh, it's worth everything that goes into um, to preserving traditional foods. Hallway Pete, Shannon Andrews and Donna Key. I'm a dietitian and the nutrition coordinator for the Ota Missouri Tribe Health Department. Through our continued collaboration with Oklahoma Tribal Engagement Partners, we'll be bringing you the Not Our Destiny recipe series. Follow along as we show you how to make easy and healthy recipes the whole family will enjoy. Remember to complete a survey to receive an incentive. Hinoa Rujegui, talk. Tori Goon. Today we are making blueberry blue corn muffins. For this recipe, you will need half a cup of blue cornmeal, half a cup of baking mix like Jiffy or Bisquick, an eighth of a cup of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one egg, half a cup of low fat or non-fat milk, one cup of frozen blueberries. Preheat oven to 350 degrees and prep a muffin tin. Spray tin with non-stick cooking spray or line with muffin liners. In a medium bowl, mix cornmeal, baking mix, sugar, and salt together. Yellow cornmeal can be used in place of blue cornmeal. Next, add egg and milk, stir to combine. For more flavor, add vanilla or cinnamon to the batter. Other fruit can be used in place of blueberries. Try cranberries or apples. Fold in the blueberries. The Oto word for blueberries is Hande Tolinge. Berries, plums, grapes, and cherries have varieties indigenous to North America. Sun drying was a traditional method used by Native Americans to preserve these foods. Whole or ground dried berries were added to many dishes for flavor. Fill each muffin well with batter, about three quarters of the way full. Blueberries may be used to make wajabi, a Native American berry sauce that was traditionally made with choke cherries. Blueberry tea or syrup was used as a traditional medicine for sore throats. Bake for 25 minutes or until tops are light golden brown. Muffins can be made ahead of time, frozen, and thawed in the microwave just before serving. This recipe makes six servings. One serving is one muffin. Enjoy!